don't you don't think. Well, we did we, hear we did hear that somebody was going to be coming back, a former champion. And you accuse me of knowing who that was. I have no clue who that person well, I guess is. We're about to get to end. It's AJ Kirsch, tough enough contestant. AJ Kirsch makes his return to the All Pro Wrestling Garage here in Hayward, California. I know that guy. I know that guy too. He's a former uh, APW Tag Team Champion, team for a long time with Outrageous Nate Rules in the group known as EGO Ego. And uh, of course, at the helm of that was a, a man who's a member of the APW Championship Committee, John LaRocca. Uh, that, that's true. And AJ Kershaw back here in All Pro Wrestling. Uh, what is he doing here, John Roberts? I mean, uh, you know. I don't know. I mean, Kirsch Jason. very famous AJ. Jason Kirsch. Anderson is in the ring with him right now. Maybe he's going to get a few words from him, but. I don't think so. He's just going to turn the mic over to him, and I, I can't agree with him more on that. AJ Kirsch is back, ladies and gentlemen, in all pro wrestling ring. And Matt, if, if you don't Matthew? mind, Matthew, if you don't mind, I don't have anything else to say. Let's just go to AJ Kirsch right now in the center of the ring. Long time no see, all pro wrestling. Thank you guys so much for that welcome, man. It really made me feel good. You know, I don't know, it's been a long time since I set foot in, uh, in an all-pro wrestling ring, and I don't know how many of you are familiar with your APW history, but me and all-pro wrestling, we go way back. Way, way back. Some of you might remember a little team by the name of Ego. Undefeated for a year and a half as all pro wrestling tag team champions. We were the single most dominant tag team in the history of all pro wrestling. Victories over America's Most Wanted when they were TNA tag team champions. We even beat the legendary, the infamous New Age Outlaws. Myself, the excellence of Ego, AJ Kirsch, teaming with the outrageous Nathan Rules, and of course, at the helm, providing a method to the madness, the genius of Johnny LaRocca. It's good to see you, brother. You know, APW, APW brought me up. They, they really provided a jump start to my career. But, uh, you know, shortly after we lost the All Four Wrestling Tag Team Championship, uh, something happened. And uh, I don't know why, and I don't know what I had to do to fix it, but uh, that fire, that passion that was burning inside me just wasn't burning as bright as it used to. And uh, I wasn't sure what to do about it, didn't know how to fix it, and it lasted longer than I wanted it to, but along came a little show called WWE Tough Enough. Yeah. And man, there were moments on that show I literally had to remind myself out loud that I wasn't dreaming. How many people get to say that they sat in a ring, shared a ring with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Bret Hart? How many people get to say that they were taken out by the WWE Divas for a night on the town? And how many people get to say that they stepped in the ring and went toe to toe with The Rock? I'm a lucky man. But something happened throughout the course of that show that far eclipses anything. Some of you may remember a little conversation I had with Stone Cold Steve Austin when he told me, if me talking to you didn't light a fire under your ass, then there's something wrong with you. Well, the reason I'm in this ring all for wrestling is because I'm here to tell you there ain't nothing wrong with me. That fire burns brighter and hotter than it ever has. And that's why I am proud to officially announce my return to All Pro Wrestling. And to the unfortunate soul who's standing across from me in this ring, I've got this message. It wasn't just Stone Cold Steve Austin who lit that fire. It was Booker T. It was Trish Stratus, it was Bill DeMott, it was John Morrison, it was The Big Show, it was Rey Mysterio, it was Bret the Hitman Hart, John Cena, and The Rock. That's who lit the fire that burns under my ass today. Yeah! I said it to Bill DeMott, and I'm gonna say it again. When I'm in this ring, I don't make believe. 
I make believers. And to my opponent that day, to everybody in the back, and to every one of you, I will make believers out of you. Saturday morning's most exciting hour. John Roberts alongside Matthew Thiel. And oh my, have we got an exciting hour for you this week. Huge main event. It's an eight-man elimination tag team match between the Carnival of Shadows and Team APW. Of course, being represented by the Universal Heavyweight Champion Dylan Drake, the British Messiah, Timothy Thatcher, APW Boot Camp graduate Mikey J, and former Worldwide Internet Champion Out of Control Matt Carlos. Former Worldwide Internet Champion Matt Carlos, who is getting himself way over his head in this match. He just lost the championship, and now he's going to go and attack the Carnival of Shadows. I have a question. He's sanity right now. Well, you know, he did just get out of that huge battle with Rick Luxury, where he did lose the internet title in a ladder match. But also in this match, of course, Mikey J, who was a target of Corvus at the uh, 2011 Young Lions Cup, which was won by your client, Perry Von Vicious. Exactly, and Corvus showed exactly why he is so dangerous and why he is the leader of the Carnival of Shadows, but he brutally attacked Mikey J after he lost to him in the Young Lions Cup tournament. That's right, and he wasn't able to compete against your client, and therefore your client went on to the finals and won the Young Lions Cup. Also in this matchup, of course, we, we mentioned uh, the British Messiah, Timothy Thatcher, who recently teamed up with the Universal Heavyweight Champion Dylan Drake, but uh, when they did team up, it, it wasn't good for the British Messiah. He was joke slammed outside the ring and taken out for quite a while. Absolutely, absolutely dangerous, dangerous matches. It's going to be an eight-man elimination match, but we got to talk about the Carnival of Shadows. I was there up close and personal as this family grew together. You remember, I managed Blackwell as he made that transformation into the beast, the monster that he is today, the beast I wish he was when I was his manager, and now he is unstoppable and the most dangerous man in all pro wrestling. He is indeed a monster, and of course you've got Jekylls who continues to play mind games with Team APW, and especially Dylan Drake, the Universal Heavyweight Champion, as we've seen the mind games continue to grow and grow as they continue to battle. And of course there's also Omega in this matchup, who you really gotta watch out for. He's got he's the speed on the on the side of uh, the Carnival of Shadows. He, he's speed, he's quick, he's smart, he's quiet, and he stays in the back, which makes him very dangerous. People have a tendency of forgetting about Omega, which is the wrong choice. And of course there's the mastermind, but behind everyone coming into the Carnival of Shadows, and that is, of course, Corvus. And you know, you always have to watch out for ringside. Darkness is going to be there with Darkness, that sick, demented pet, baby. The, the embodiment of everything that the Carnival of Shadows is, that beast, Darkness. Never forget Darkness. Well, that's all coming up today in our main event later on this hour. The Carnival of Shadows versus Team APW in an eight-man elimination tag war. And it's going to be an explosive main event today on Gym Wars. But right now, let's go to our colleague, the killer, Jay Mathias. He's standing by in the newsroom. Take it away, Killer Jay. Thank you, gentlemen. And for Matt Thiel, I use that term very, very loosely. Thanks a lot. And uh, welcome to the APW Newsbreak. I am your host, the killer, Jay Mathias. Folks, it's been exciting already, but right now we've got the return of Jody Christofferson. Last time we saw him, he was laid out. Dave Dutra had been revealed as the man in black. His benefactor, Derek Sanders, had helped him to lay Jody out. Jody was out for a while, injured. He has returned, and he's returned with some strong words. Let's check him out right now. A few weeks ago, the APW faithful finally got to see who the man behind the black mask was. The man in black, everybody was wondering who it was. I personally didn't see it coming. For a long time now, I've been waiting to get my hands on the man in black. I was praying to get my hands on the man in black. And when I saw him pull his mask off, and that was Dave Dutra standing side by side with the man I despise, Derek Sanders, the boss, Derek Sanders, put me into shock. It's like I am now. I can't. I, I, 
don't understand, Dave. I don't understand how a guy like yourself, a guy I consider a brother in arms, a man who helped me train here at APW when nobody thought I had a chance of making it as a pro wrestler. I don't understand why you would stoop so low as to... I'm going to get an answer, Dave. One way or another. One way or another. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. You're going to look me dead in the eye. You're going to tell me what the hell is going on. Strong words from the big country, Jody Christopherson. I mean, his feud with Derek Sanders just keeps getting hotter and hotter. And now with the addition of the revealed man in black, Dave Dutra, it just might boil over. Someone's got to do something to put a lid on this before it spills over and infests the APW locker room. These two have got to settle this and soon. Now, next week, we've got an exciting show. Uh, half of it, I think, has been bought by Perry Von Vicious and his manager, Matthew Theo, who say they have a special presentation for the APW fans. Even more interesting is that Mr. Wrestling Number 4 has chimed in and said he has something special for Matthew Theo. I don't know how either of those things are going to turn out, but it's going to be exciting, so tune in and watch. Next week also brings us an internet title championship match. Rick Luxury who, whether he likes it or not, is going to be a fighting champion, is putting it on the line versus Sheik Kanabadi. It'll be a high-flying, exciting match as the Sheik once again goes for internet gold. Let's see if the third time's the charm. Now, this week, coming up right now is our main event, an exciting eight-man elimination tag team match. The Carnival of Shadows against Team APW, represented by Tim Thatcher, Universal Heavyweight Champion Dylan Drake, the up-and-comer Mikey J, and former internet champion, Matt Carlos, that is going to be exciting, folks. Stay here, watch that, enjoy it, and I will see you next week. Are you or your son or daughter celebrating a birthday soon? There's no better way to celebrate a birthday than to throw the birthday person a pro wrestling themed birthday party. We have several packages available, including renting our facility with a customized pro wrestling show. Bring your birthday cake and invite your guests to attend a private pro wrestling birthday party. If you are interested in having all pro wrestling be a part of your birthday celebration, give us a call at 510-785-8396 or visit the website at www.allprowrestling.com. Welcome back, wrestling fans. It's main event time here on Jim Ward's big eight-man tag team match. John Roberts and Matthew Thiel here in the broadcast booth. And Matthew, who do, you, who do you think is going to walk out the victor in this match? Team ABW or the Carnival of Shadows? It's really hard to say. I'm going to have to go with history. History here has said that the Carnival of Shadows is going to walk away with the victory in this match. They're going to go to defeat a team in ABW in big match situations like this time and time again. If you remember the Carnival game. Making their way to the ring first with darkness at a combined weight of 1,055 and a half pounds, the team of Corvus, Omega, Blackwell, and Jekylls, they are the Carnival of Shadow. That is a lot of poundage being in it. That, that is a lot. I think they re I hope that they reinforce this rank for this match. Uh, I see the W can't do this the ring that up, so they're holding up their feet. Yes, yeah, so, uh, I think everything's fine in this game, but it's explosive though. I like doing that, but I don't have to do that to say. But look at the power shots. Like I said before, I was there with all this thing together. I saw it up close and personal, and I know exactly the kind of control that Cordis had over Jekyll's and Darkness and Omega and Blackwell. And he knows how to get the most out of them. He knows how to make sure that they are as vicious and as wild as humanly possible. And even in Darkness's case, probably not even humanly possible. Well, you know, there's one thing we have to point out now that you bring up Darkness. Darkness is not a competitor in this matchup, but you have to keep your eye on her at ringside at all times because you never know what way she's going to interfere in this match. And here comes Team APW. And their opponents at a combined weight of 800 pounds, the team of Mikey J, 
out of control, Matt Carlos, the British Messiah, Timothy Thatcher, and the APW Universal Heavyweight Champion, Dylan Drake. The team APW is outweighed by the Carnival of Shadows, well over 200 pounds. That is a huge advantage in the Carnival Court. But I would like to say, 14 APW have a great mix of experience in the ring. They have the Universal Heavyweight Champion himself. You have one of the be best in-ring technicians in Timothy Thatcher, plus one of the Young Lions from the Young Lions Cup Tournament, Mikey J, and a former Worldwide Internet Champion, Matt Carlos. That is an all-star APW team. And you can't forget to mention, when you're talking about champions, Tim Thatcher held the Worldwide Internet title for a year. But did you see, look at the stare down has already begun. All eight of these particip participants are ready to rip each other limb from limb. And the history speaks for itself in this race. Sparky Ballard's having a horrible time trying to pull these people apart. You can see Corvus with that control, able to pull Jekylls away from Dylan so Sparky Ballard can do his chase. So much history in this matchup. Uh, Corvus was the one who eliminated Mikey J from the Young Lions Cup. Although Mikey had already eliminated Corvus, he pinned him and beat him, but it was Corvus who was able to take him out by beating him up and beating down his ribs and beating him before he couldn't compete. Yeah, it's true, and uh, Jekyll's the jester and Dylan Drake, excuse me, just Jekyll's the name, but jokes like me for that. They've been buying for the championship. Folks, we have to take a commercial break. We'll be right back to this main event. Five. If you would like to get involved behind the scenes with pro wrestling, we are looking for you. All Pro Wrestling is always on the lookout for talented interns in the areas of television production, including commentators, graphic design, and website design. We also have highly paid commission sales and marketing openings. For more information, email your qualifications and resume and tell us which area behind the scenes you'd love to be involved in. Info at allproWrestling.com. Give us a call as well at 510-785-8396 or visit the website at www.allprowrestling.com. Um. I want the bloody balloon holder! And we're back, wrestling fans, to our main event. The checks are over. The rules have been gone over by our senior official, Sparky Ballard. And it's time for this big eight-man elimination tag team match. And who's going to start things off? It looks like Timothy Thatcher is going to start off with Team APW. And Blackwell is going to start things off with a Carnival of Shadows. And remember the last time that Carnival of Shadows was in a big tag team match like this, though, they were do with participants. They tagged at least five or six times before deciding on the first competitor. Or we may see something similar. Or Blackwell will go right into it. Right into it. Timothy Thatcher. Boot to the gut. Elbow across the back of the head. Classic Blackwell. Well, you got to wonder what the mindset is of out of control of Matt Carlos over there in the corner for Team APW. He's coming off a very big feud with wrestling personified Rick Lutry, and we saw him lose the worldwide internet title in what some are calling one of the greatest matches we've seen in the APW garage, a ladder match for the internet title. He's probably pushed all those emotions and feelings aside for this one. Now he's fighting for his alma mater. He's fighting for APW boot camp, the place where he was trained. Well, you've got three boot camp graduates on the ring apron right now. Out of control, Matt Carlos, Mikey J, and the Universal Champ, Dylan Drake, all fighting for Team APW. And Tim Thatcher, who has found a home here in APW, and has become one of the most beloved people in all pro wrestling. It's incredible. Mikey J getting straight into the action, not showing any fear, going up against Black, who we outlets him by 200 pounds? At least, at least 200 pounds. Mikey J in a world of trouble right now, even though he's got that arm locked in, because of that size advantage, for Blackwell, but he tags in the Universal Champion, comes down with an elbow across the shoulder of Blackwell and wrenches in more, more pain on that shoulder of Blackwell, who tries to get a shot in, but Dylan Drake counters with a shot of his own. Now a shot to the back. Dylan Drake, not wanting to get caught off his guard, saw it coming. And that feels so far, it looks like Team ABW has got the better of Blackwell. It's, it's true. Uh, Team APW has all, already had all four of the wrestlers in the ring taking down Blackwell notch by notch, making sure that the person in the ring stays 100% fresh because once you get down even to the high 90s, that's when Blackwell thrives. Matt Carlos in now the makes the tag to Mikey J. In comes Mikey J. Shot to the arm of Blackwell. And you really got to applaud Team APW for everything they've done, but now it looks like Blackwell had enough. Makes the tag to Jekylls. Mikey J squirts out the back, trying to get back to make a tag, but instead he's going to stay in the ring and he's going to fight Jekylls. Mikey J looks a little, a little weird. He's lost, but 
He knows what he, he's going up against the bigger man. He knows what he needs, and he's bringing, bringing it in quick. He needs to bring it in hard, and that's what he's going for. Shots to the face of Jekyll by Mikey J. That's the experience, though. Uh, Jekyll sacrificed Omega by throwing uh, Mikey J right into him, but that's what he gets for fighting somebody in his home corner. Mikey J now just on the receiving end of a beatdown from the Carnival of Shadows. A shot to the gut from Jekylls. And the tag's made to Corvus. Corvus is definitely going to be targeting those ribs that Mikey J still hasn't completely recovered from. The injuries at the hands of, uh, of Corvus in the Alliance Cup. And now being choked out by Omega in the corner. And that just goes to show you, Omega doesn't care that Jekylls just threw a, a, a human being into a knock him off the ring. They are one cohesive collective unit. Whatever they can do to help achieve victory is what they, is, it's their goal. They work together perfectly. Definitely one of the most cohesive units we've ever seen here in all pro wrestling. And with a mission that is spelled out by Corvus and they execute that plan to a team every time they are in the ring. Omega set Mikey J up, snaps off the vertical suplex all the way across the ring, almost turned it into a suplex throw there. And grabbing control of the front face lock again makes the tag to Blackwell, and in comes the big bruiser. What's he got in store for Mikey J? Double axe handle to those ribs. You can see Mikey grabbing at him. It's, he's in a world of trouble right now. With Blackwell in there, he knows how to pick apart the body and make sure that there's nothing left. Big back elbow from Blackwell takes down Mikey J. Seven down. Could he be thinking splash right here? Is he going to try to eliminate Mikey J? Drops the elbow across the chest. And you can see the glazed look in the eyes of Mikey J. And he has no idea where he is. He has no idea where he is. All he knows is that there's no air in his mouth. So Blackwell knocks the Universal Champ off the apron. And Team APW trying to take advantage of, or excuse me, the Carnival of Shadows taking advantage of Sparky Ballard being distracted by Team APW trying to come in the ring. But Mikey J is still in a lot of trouble here. He's able to fight back though. He's still got a little bit of scrap left on him. Mikey J fighting with every ounce of energy and being he's got. And it's all that energy and being that he has that has made him such a fan favorite so quick. Jack just to us in Team APW with a pun right into his hands. Sparky Ballard is tracking you know the Carnival of Shadows is doing something dirty to, to, to Mikey J. Of course, Mikey J was standing up and then the camera moved and when he came back, you saw Mikey J on the ground. We know the Carnival of Shadows had something to do with that. Folks, we have to take a commercial break. No, no eliminations have occurred so far in this eight-man elimination tag match between Team APW and the Carnival of Shadows. Who is going to be the lone survivor? Who is going to be the surviving team? Do you have what it takes to become a pro wrestler? The APW Bootcamp Training School is accepting applicants for pro wrestlers, managers, valets, and referees. All Pro Wrestling Home APW Bootcamp is where future legends are born. For the last 19 years, APW has been the leader in talent development. Top graduates include The Great Khali, Crash Holly, Spike Dudley, and Alyssa Flash. For your free brochure, call us at 510-785-8396. Welcome back, wrestling fans. Mikey J in trouble. Omega continuing to inflict punishment on the young boot camp graduate. And Team APW trying to get Mikey J back into this, trying to get the Jim Wars crowd into it. But right now, in front of those shadows, they are executing their game plan to the fullest. Matthew Thiel, it's not looking good for Mikey J right now. Mikey J has been on the receiving end of just brutality throughout the entire commercial break. Even if they don't pin Mikey J's shoulders to the mat or make him submit here in the early stages of this match. Oh, tip to all. Head scissors from Mikey J. Nice move out of nowhere. Omega looking for the clothesline. Spring one the second rope. This is Mikey J with that back elbow. Didn't quite get all of that though, but if he can stay on the attack, it could create the opening he needs to make a tag. Oh, signature offense from Omega looking for that delayed clothesline. Instead, Mikey J is going for the double A spine buster from Omega. Hooks the outside leg. One, two, could be three. No, Mikey J was almost eliminated, but Matt Carlos able to sprint into the ring and break it up just before Sparky Ballard's hand hit for three. As I was saying before, Mikey J was surprised. <laughs> Everyone and started to, to pick up the action a little bit. Even if Mikey J isn't eliminated from the match officially, the attack that uh, the Carnival of Shadows is laying into Mikey J, it could take him away from the action about eliminating him from the match. 
I do. Mike J in trouble. To make a looking for a belly to back suplex instead gets countered with a bulldog. But Mikey J hooks the outside leg, trying to eliminate Omega two, three, and does so. Nice move by Mikey J. Omega gets the first elimination in this match, but he's got to look out right behind him because of because Corvus is right there, like a shark sensing blood in the water. Sprints off the rope, swinging neckbreaker signature finisher from. Corvus covers and three, and Mikey J's been eliminated just Mikey like J that. And we're down to three against three. Eliminated. It looks like Thatcher's gonna pick up the torch next for Team APW. Thatcher's smart, though. Thatcher's taking his time. Corvus is distracted by Mikey J, and there he is, right there, ready to take it to Corvus. He's been chomping at the bit to get this match, and now he's up to an uppercut by Thatcher. Puts Corvus into the ropes. Going right after that shoulder, gonna try and set him up for the Thatcher stretch, more than likely. And Timothy Thatcher taking a moment to have a Kodak moment, as it were, in the center of the ring. And getting this Jim Wars crowd back into this match after Mikey J is eliminated. Shoots the half, rolls him over, but only a two count on Corvus. Now, Timothy Thatcher, he is, he is always prepared to slap on that Thatcher stretch. And every move that he makes in that ring is in preparation for that. You have to give it to him. Well, the tag's made to the Universal Champ. He's in now. He has been involved in a huge conflict with the Carnival of Shadows, having to face pretty much every single member in a Universal title match, having to defend that title against almost every single member of the Carnival. And I can't think of anybody in the Carnival of Shadows more than Jekyll's that wants that championship back. Jekyll's, he held it at one point. He wants it back. It's been a while since Jekyll's held championship gold. But right now, the Universal Champ with a nice clothesline to Corbis hooks the outside leg. And in comes Jekyll's playing mind games once again with Dylan to break things up. Did you see a death stare that Dylan Drake gave, Cor uh, gave Jekyll's on his way out of the ring. Picking up Corvus, delaying him up. They're spinning up. Vertical suit play takes down Corvus. Dylan Drake on fire here, hooks the inside leg. Gonna try and fold him up. He but did get all that to. pin though. If he dug down deep and actually tried to pin Corvus and beat him, he probably would. Well, it looked like he was staring a hole right through Jekyll's at ringside, trying to make sure that Jekyll's didn't come into the ring. Still gonna stay focused on the task at hand. But the mind games that Jekyll's has played have led Dylan Drake to this point. And right now, out of control, trying to trip up Corvus after Irish whipping. In the room. Springboarding around with that nice elbow. Nice move by Matt Carlos. Hooks the outside like one, two, could it be three? No, only a two count for out of control. <laughs> Matt Carlos always comes in with that energy. He's ready to pick up the pace and take it to his opponent. He's not showing any signs of, of wearing down or, or, or no sign from that ladder match. No signs of fatigue that, that, from that ladder match. It looks like he's recovered fully. Oh, but that shot to the ribs definitely could be dangerous. Nice step up in Seguri from Corvus. Takes that out of control, Matt Carlos. And you know, normally Matt Carlos could take one of those moves and probably bounce right back from it. But with all the damage that was done to him in that ladder match, it looks like he's not springing back up as much as we thought he would. Blackwell looking for a come handle something, but there's a neck breaker from Corvus at the same time. Nice double team maneuver by the Carnival of Shadows. Blackwell is just stopping and staring at Matt Carlos. And Blackwell is so dangerous, and man, he frightens me. He is indeed very frightening. Right now, Matt Carlos in trouble. The Junior's crowd strong behind him. And Team APW, what's gonna happen next in this huge eight-man tag main event? Five. If you would like to get involved behind the scenes with pro wrestling, we are looking for you. All Pro Wrestling is always on the lookout for talented interns in the areas of television production, including commentators, graphic design, and website design. We also have highly paid commission sales and marketing openings. For more information, email your qualifications and resume and tell us which area behind the scenes you'd love to be involved in. Info at allprowrestling.com. Give us a call as well at 510-785-8396 or visit the website at www.allprowrestling.com. Welcome back to our main event, Jim Rose fans. Matthew Thrall doing the commercial break. Out of control, Matt Carlos continuing to take a punt, take punishment and abuse from the Carnival of Shadows. Jeff is just going after the ears of out of control, Matt Carlos. And you know that's got to set off darkness. She loves it when people go after the ears, the nose, the eyes, the mouth. She loves people's faces ripped apart. She's a, she's a creepy woman. Forearm smash to the face of out of control Matt Carlos by Jekyll. Double team Irish whip, double team clothesline. But it looked like Corvus and Jekyll collided at the same time. Carlos was able to get them off balance somehow and they collide head to head. Matt Carlos trying to make a dance. 
take advantage of the opportunity, but not quite able to get there. Well, Jekyll's going right after Matt, after the British Messiah, Timothy Thatcher, and he comes in to try to get some retribution. But Sparky Battle telling no, you have to go back out on the ring apron. And right now, the Carnival Shadows just teaming up on Matt Carlos in the corner. Remember that this is a uh, this was originally an eight-man elimination tag team match, but both Omega and Mikey J have both been eliminated in this match so far. You know, this could come down to a three-on-one situation. Oh, but Matt Carlos, nice thing, boy, cross body off the second row. I was about to say, this could turn into a three-on-one situation if two members of either team get eliminated before someone from the other side. Oh, but there's a nice bulldog in the corner from Corvus' signature offense. To show how much Corvus pays attention, how much Matt, uh, how much, uh, Matt Carlos pays attention. And both competitors have been ready for each other. Flying off the top rope with a flying oh, European upper thing. Matt Carlos wasn't ready for it. Corvus coming off the top rope. You can see that happen very often. Flying European uppercut from Corvus takes down out of control. And this Jim Warriors crowd is trying to roll on Matt Carlos, who takes a shot at Corvus from down on his knees. But Cole is still in control of this matchup right now. Nice heel kick to the gut by Matt Carlos. Trying to run into the ropes, but Blackwell with a shot to the back of the head. Cole is looking for probably a fisherman suplex. Instead, Matt Carlos bouncing off of Blackwell with the Union landing. Shoots the half, rolls Corvus over one, two, three, gets the three count. Matt Carlos putting a hundred percent of his weight in his head. Corvus eliminated the Blackwell. Not when he's taking time, he's in there. He's laying it down on Matt Carlos. A shot to the back of Matt Carlos, and now a chop takes down out of control. It's three on two right now. The Carnival of Shadows in trouble, but you've got their two biggest men still left, and they still have to be outweighing to the Come on, Matt. Take to the scales. I mean, Timothy Thatcher and Dylan Drake are definitely no slouches in the ring. They're not, they're not easily pushed over. I'm not saying they're easily pushed over, but if you go just by sheer, sheer humanity in the corner of the corner of the shadows, you got Blackwell and Jack, two of the biggest competitors here in all pro wrestling. Matt Carlos able to use his agility to his advantage there, trying to hit a mat liner right now. It's like it's countered. The blackout slam by, by Blackwell. Trying to get the three count, but Dylan Drake, the Universal Champ, in to break things up, following that blackout slam from Blackwell. And Matt Carlos, he really, really needs to make a tag right now to Team APW. Just imagine, I mean, I've had, I have had Blackwell put all of his weight down on the back before he even went like this. I mean, you can see the, 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 the former mountain is kind of shrinking. But, but before, he's at least 100 pounds heavier. Call that weight coming crashing down on me. Can you imagine how bad that must still feel? For Matt Carlos. I am surprised that Matt Carlos doesn't have cracked ribs right now. That was intense to watch and made my ribs hurt just watching it. And right now, Camel Clutch applied, but raking at the eyes is Jekyll's. Matt Carlos in trouble, desperately needs to make the tag to Thatcher or the Universal Champ. But Jekyll's wrestling this match smartly. He has cut off Matt Carlos from his corner. He made sure that all of his all of his attacks happen in the middle of the ring, separating Matt Carlos from his team. And continuing to stomp away at the head of Matt Carlos, right on those ears, trying to knock the equilibrium off of Matt Carlos so he can't move around at all. And Matt Carlos is one that relies on his balance too. To be out of control, you have to be able to be somewhat in control. To be, you have to be balanced. You have to be able to snap things up in a hurry. You have to be able to jump off the top rope with all of your faculties in function. But if you're completely knocked around like he is right now, there's no way that's going to happen. That's true. You're Blackwell knocking Matt Carlos all the way out of the ring. He's taunting Dylan Drake, taunting Timothy Thatcher, giving Darkness the opportunity. Darkness is not in this match. If she strikes Matt Carlos, uh, Blackwell, I would imagine, would get disqualified and be thrown out of this match. Well, Jekyll's bouncing Matt Carlos' head off the ring apron. Matt Carlos in a world of trouble right now. Desperately needs to get back in the ring and make the tag to Team APW. But Blackwell's right there to inflict more punishment right in front of championship committee members Roland Alexander and John Arata. I'm surprised that no one's throwing in the towel for Matt Carlos right now. He is really taking a lot of abuse. Sparky Ballard up to five on his 10 count for both of these men. They could both be eliminated by a countout right now. And I don't I really don't think Blackwell would mind if he got eliminated by a countout right now. I mean, right now the Carnival of Shadows is at the disadvantage. Right now it's a three-on-two situation with Matt Carlos, Timothy Thatcher, and Dylan Drake still in this elimination match against Jeffers and Blackwood from the Carnival of Shadows. 
Matt Carlos trying to score his way over to the corner to make the tag. But Blackwell still has control of that foot and makes the tag to Jeff who drops an elbow across the ribs of out of control. Hooks the inside leg. One, two, only a two count for the carnival right there. They tried to even things up, make it two on two. But Matt Carl is still able to kick out. There's another cover by Jekylls. One, two, could it be three? No, able to kick out is out of control. I, I've said it once, I'll say it again. Matt Carl needs to make a tag now. He needs to make a tag. The Jekylls right back to the camel clutch, right back, pulling at the faces, rubbing the, Matt Carlos' face in the, in the canvas of the ring. It's a brutal, brutal team these people are. Well, you can hear the Matt Carlos movement out in this juniors crowd, desperately willing Matt Carlos on, willing him into his corner to make a tag, but Jekyll able to keep advantage. Going for the leg drop, but nobody home. Both men down in the center of the ring. Folks, we have to take a commercial break. Don't go to work. Our main event continues. Are you or your son or daughter celebrating a birthday soon? There's no better way to celebrate a birthday than to throw the birthday person a pro wrestling themed birthday party. We have several packages available, including renting our facility with a customized pro wrestling show. Bring your birthday cake and invite your guests to attend a private pro wrestling birthday party. If you are interested in having all pro wrestling be a part of your birthday celebration, give us a call at 510-785-8396 or visit the website at www.allprowrestling.com. Welcome back, wrestling fans. Still three on two. Team APW against the Carnival Shadows in this elimination tag team match. Clothesline attempt there by Jekylls. Matt Carlos with the Matt Rider. Matthew Thiel, that's the move he needed right there to get the separation. And he, and he's on the right side of the ring. He's going for the pin. Got to question the wisdom of that. Instead of crawling over to get the tag. Matt Carlos thought he had an opportunity to eliminate Jekylls and make it a three on one situation, but he was unsuccessful. Now he really needs to make a tag. He's back up to his feet, but he's not going for the tag. Instead, he's going to try to put some punishment on a Jekyll. He's going to try to put him away with the union landing here. Gets countered. Thor Nelson slam from Jekylls. I've never seen Jekylls hit a full Nelson slam before. Just lifting Matt Carlos up and slamming him down. Oh, there's a cover. Hooks the inside leg. But only a two count for Jekylls that time. Dylan Drake tried to come in and play some mind games of his own with Jekylls. It had to be mind games because he didn't even see enough to be able to break the pin. Uh, Jekylls had a Matt Carlos pin all the way across the ring. Matt Carlos had to move away that splash attempt. Forearm smash to the face. Matt Carlos, he's going to try to springboard in. Bounce off those ropes. Missile drop kick off the springboard. Nice move by Matt Carlos. Momentum. He landed on his knee. The momentum from that missile drop kick, though, took him all the way across the ring. Matt Carlos is in just as much trouble now as he was a minute ago. He is not in the right corner. Matt Carlos landed a little violently on that left knee. You got to wonder if he's going to have the, the ability to climb back up those top ropes. It looks like he's going to try to go out of control once again. Once Matt Carlos got up his sleeve, up to the top rope, coming flying off, but gets caught. He gets goozled by Jekylls, who looked like he's going to put away the choke slam, but gets countered. Irish whip by Matt Carlos, tries to trip him up, rolling through, looking for another back elbow. Instead, gets caught again with a Jekyll. Goozle, Jekyll, choke slam, slam from Jekylls. I got tongue tied with all this excited. There's a cover, hooks the leg, one, two, and three, and Matt Carlos is eliminated. Now it is two on two. The Matt Universal Heavyweight Champion Dylan Drake stepping in. He's going to go one on one with, with his biggest rival in the Carnival of Shadows, I have to say, Jekylls. We also have Timothy Thatcher, also on Team AP Radio, and Blackwell on the other side. Blackwell. Oh, and here comes Blackwell over the ring. Mind games being played by the Carnival of Shadows again. Dylan Drake thought he was finally going to get his hands on Jekylls. Instead, Blackwell runs in and beats down. Dylan Drake throws the Universal Champ shoulder first into that steel ring post. And now Jekyll's just stalking, stalking. He tags in Blackwell. It doesn't matter. Both of these men is just both of these men rip apart uh, Dylan Drake just just for the sheer pleasure of it. It doesn't matter if he's the Universal Heavyweight Champion. Well, their game plan continues to become more evident as this match continues. Divide and conquer seems to be the theme of their game plan. And the Carnival of Shadows executing it to a team. Thatcher just must be, Thatcher must be stewing in that point. He's barely been able to get into this match. And you know how the temper of the British Messiah can be. If and when he finally gets into this matchup, you know that he is going to be a house of fire ready to take everyone down. He missed a month of action because of the joke slam that he received from Jekyll to the outside of the ring. You know he, has to be, he wants to be in there to get his revenge on the Carnival of Shadows. Dylan Drake in trouble right now. Blackwell continuing to apply punishment. Runs into the ropes. What's he going to do? Backsplash on those ropes. Dylan Drake getting sandwiched between those hard ropes. And 
Blackwell, it's like being between the rock and the hole. Matthew this match continues to go on, and you gotta wonder about what Dylan Drake's gonna have left in the tank as this match continues, and the punishment continues that the Carnival Shadows is pouring on him. If the Carnival Shadows has proven anything to anybody who may still doubt them watching at home or watching this live in the UPW Garage, it's that they know exactly what they want to do when they head into a match. They know how they want to pick apart their opponents, and they know exactly how much power it's going to take to make sure that they are not only really beaten down in the match, but eliminated from the equation altogether. Well, did you see the sinister look from Blackwater right before he lifted Dylan Drake up? It looked like he took a little too much time. A couple of drop kicks from Dylan Drake. He runs over to the corner. Come off the second rope with a little drop kick of his own. Takes down Blackwell. Nice move, nice impact from the Universal Heavyweight Champion. Trying to roll over this mountain of a man. Hooks the leg, but only a one count as Jekyll's in there to break things up. Jekyll's is in there immediately to break things up, and that just shows the mentality that the Carnival of Shadows has. If one man is down, the entire rest of the pack is there, ready and able to pass. Well, the tag is finally made to Timothy Thatcher, who's going right after that arm of Blackwell, the same arm that had been targeted at the beginning of the match. And right now, Team APW really focusing on that arm. Timothy Thatcher trying to apply more punishment, probably setting him up for his patented Thatcher stretch. Now, the Carnival Shadows, especially Blackwell, has a big power game. We're able to pick you up and drop you from high distances with a lot of power. Now, Tim Big Thatcher, though, he is a man of a technique. He knows exactly what part of the body is normally that arm, setting up for that Thatcher stretch, and his game plan is the same 100% of the time, and most of the time, it's unneeded. It's Timothy Thatcher had an arm bar applied. But it was too close to the rope. Blackwell able to grab that bottom rope and get the rope break in separation he wanted. But now Thatcher dropping all of his weight across that shoulder of Blackwell. The Jim Wars crowd very happy with what they're seeing out of Tim Thatcher right now. Thatcher starts applying the center but too close to the rope. Blackwell able to roll over and get the separation he wanted with that rope break. You can see the pain in Blackwell's face, too. I don't think I've ever seen him in so much agony all the time I'm feeling him. I think it's making you a little happy after what he did to you. I see a smile on the corner of your face seeing Blackwell in trouble like this. I think it's well documented that I am not the number one fan of the Carnival Shadows. I don't respect how they get it done, but I, I don't respect their ultimate goal of just destroying everyone in APW. I, I don't see the sense in that. Timothy Thatcher continuing to work away on the arm of Blackwell, rolling him over into an armbar attempt, but Blackwell able to roll back. Thatcher wasn't able to lock it in the way he wanted to. But I don't think I've ever seen Blackwell so dominated by anyone in the past. I mean, no. Timothy Thatcher has, has latched onto this arm and he's not let go. And it wasn't until the rake of the eyes by Blackwell in the illegal move that finally separated Thatcher from him. Well, a couple of thumbs to the eyes, followed by a rick, and Blackwell able to get away from the British Messiah, continuing to target the face, a shot to the forehead of Timothy Thatcher. Right now, Blackwell trying to fight back. He's going to go make a tag to Jekylls, and what could these two have up their sleeve next for the British Messiah? Jekylls dropping an elbow across the back of Timothy Thatcher. Shot to the face, nice throw up, signature move there from Jekylls. And Timothy Thatcher just crumbles. He didn't fall. He, he, didn't, he didn't do one of those, one of those uh, protective falls that professors are training. He, he just crumbled under the forearm from Jekylls. He was able to kick out of that penalty. Right? Jekylls ripping at the ears of Timothy Thatcher the same way he did to Matt Carlos earlier in the match. And you can hear the Jim Wars crowd chanting for Tim Thatcher. Let's go, Timmy. And I have to agree 100%. Let's go, Timmy. Come on, man. Get it done for Team APW. If Team APW can pull out a victory in this match, I'm going to be very surprised. The Carnival of Shadows has shown time and time again that they are there for those big match situations. Again, like I said at the beginning of the match, I mean, I, I, we have a two-on-two -two contest right now. But I don't know if the Carnival of Shadows. They, they, they can pull it off. They can get it done. Well, a tag is made in the comes. Blackwell with a European uppercut. A little sign of uh, disrespect there for Blackwell. Two Thatcher fires back with his own European uppercut on Blackwell. Oh, but one more for Thatcher from Blackwell. Send him back into that corner where he can just be targeted away by, by the corner of the shadows. Knife edge chop for Blackwell. Folks, this match continues. We're down to two on two. Don't go anywhere. Do you have what it takes to become a pro wrestler? 
The APW Bootcamp Training School is accepting applicants for pro wrestlers, managers, valets, and referees. All pro wrestling home at APW Bootcamp is where future legends are born. For the last 19 years, APW has been the leader in talent development. Top graduates include The Great Khali, Crash Holly, Spike Dudley, and Alyssa Flash. For your free brochure, call us at 510-785-8396. Welcome back to our main event. Two Norse fans, Timothy Thatcher and Dylan Drake, really trying to take it to the Carnival Shadows, but it's been the Carnival Shadows dominating them in this eight-man elimination tag match that's turned down now in the two-on-two. That's true. We started off with Team APW with Mikey J and uh, Out of Control Matt Carlos, who have both been eliminated. And the Carnival Shadows starting off with full force, but we've seen Corvus, the puppet master for himself, and Omega eliminated from the contest. Well, there's a cover and hook in the leg by Black. Well, could he be eliminated from Tim Thatcher? No. The British Messiah, Amy to kick out just before the three count and now Blackwell will choke him out in the center of the ring going outside the rules once again it's a blatant choke by Blackwell who just does it yeah. at the end of the day that man does it very easier to beat the crap out of someone and he doesn't matter how it gets done as long as the task is accomplished if he could walk away from the match and Corvus is happy then Blackwell too is a happy man European uppercut from Thatcher into Blackwell Blackwell in trouble now in the corner you can see him just whiplashing around following that European uppercut from Timothy Thatcher. He's firing up right now, really trying to get the win here for Team APW. Thatcher runs over to the far ropes, coming after Blackwell. Oh, but they connect head to head. Blackwell stumbles down. You never really see that happen to Blackwell. But Thatcher down as well. Both men really need to make a tag right now before them down. Much closer to this corner than Thatcher is. Blackwell able to make that tag. Here comes Jekers. Thatcher able to make the tag as well. Dylan Drake finally getting his one on one and face to face confrontation with Jekylls. Well, here we go. Both Thatcher and Blackwell are down. That means only these two can compete right now. One on one. And it looks like we're going to see some forearms back and forth. There's one from Jekylls, one from Dylan Drake. Continuing to trade those forearms in the center of the ring. Both men love using this maneuver. Close line from Dylan Drake takes himself and Jekylls over the top rope into the war zone. This action always spilling out of the war zone as these fans desperately need to get out of the way. Otherwise, they're going to get caught up in this tornado of, of anger and hate between these two men. Pick up your chair and get out of the way. That's absolutely true. Because if, you're, if, if Jekylls is out there, he doesn't care. He will throw you into his opponent if he needs to. Well, we've already seen him throw someone in. We've already seen him throw one of his opponents into his tag team partner. He definitely will do it to anyone. You know, these two men are just, are just ripping each other apart out there. There is so much anger and animosity between these two. Well, the Jekyll is trying to show his domination, trying to get the Universal Heavyweight Championship back, trying to be get back on top of the heat at all pro wrestling. And Dylan Drake fighting with every fiber of his being. And I believe they've been counting by out. Powers of APW senior referee Sparky Ballard. Well, Dylan Drake and Jekylls have been eliminated. Well, we just heard from Donald and Troy. Yes, it's official. Both Dylan Drake and Jekylls have been eliminated by a double counter. They continue to fight on the outside. But right now, Blackwell and Dylan Drake, excuse me, Blackwell and the British Messiah, Timothy Thatcher, are the only two combatants left in this match. We've got it down to one-on-one. -on -one. Who's going to walk away the victory, with the victory for their team? Or the only one sole survivor in this match. And again, Carnival of Shadows has always been able to pull this out. Blackwell has so much experience in that ring. He is a former worldwide internet champion, former universal heavyweight champion. He was the first person to hold both of those belts simultaneously. Pardon the pun here, but Timothy Thatcher has quite the mountain to climb if he wants to walk away with the victory for not only himself, but for Team APW. Thatcher in trouble in the center of the ring. You don't really see him caught off guard with a hold like this. He's the one with the, the grounding ability, the one to take you down and wear you down with different holds and different maneuvers. But right now it's Blackwell who's doing that. He's wrenching in on the collarbone area of Timothy Thatcher, who's fighting back with his right shoulder, trying to dig it into the gut of Blackwell, who slams him down on the back of his head. And you see the way that Thatcher's head whiplashed off the mat. Absolutely brutal. 
And Blackwell is well known for this. He's just he's continuing to attack on that head and that neck. He's ripping, he's ripping at that. He's stretching those muscles. He's tearing those ligaments. He's, he's, I'm sure he wouldn't be happy until Tony Thatcher taps out and cannot wrestle anymore. Well, he's got him in a cravat. And you see the sick, demented looks on the face of Blackwell. I have never, like, we've seen Blackwell go sick and demented. I have never seen this full force side of Blackwell. He's probably trying to cripple the British Messiah. The British Messiah in trouble right now. Blackwell's got him right where he wants him, but Thatcher's trying to fight out. Shot to the gut, using all of his power there. Grabbing the wrist and the arm. Gonna try to take Blackwell down. Couldn't be possibly trying to weaken him enough to set it up for that Thatcher stretch. Shot to the back of that knocks the equilibrium off for Thatcher, and Blackwell back in control. And you can just see how much control Blackwell has over himself and over his whole body. He goes from that intense, agonizing pain that you can see on his face, and as soon as he gets the opening, that pain turns into a sick, twisted smile. A close line in the back of the head of Thatcher by Blackwell. He's down face first in the center of the ring. Blackwell taking his time, stalking his prey. And it looks like he's getting ready to put Timothy Thatcher away. No one to tag at this point. It's down to one on one in this elimination matchup. Both men trying to get the victory for their team in this huge war between APW and the Carnival Shadows. Belly to belly, suplex from Blackwell. Let's not forget that there was a splash in the corner before that belly to belly. So you got impact on the front, you got impact on the back, and now Blackwell's going for that pin. Hooks the inside leg, could it be enough? No, Thatcher able to kick out. I am shocked that Thatcher was able to kick out. Eerily able to kick out. I'm not sure how he was able to get that done. And Blackwell has flipped. You could see the frustration. He thought that it was over there. This Jim Moore's crowd chanting on for Thatcher. Tim's up to his knees, but Blackwell's all the way to a vertical base, now picking Thatcher up the rest of the way. What could he be setting up? Oh, but Thatcher floats over the back. Knees to the shoulder, trying to break him down once again. Is he gonna try and take him down into, into the Thatcher stretch? Waiting away with that shoulder, breaking the eyes by Blackwell. As soon as, as Timothy Thatcher thought he might be able to get him down, Blackwell was there with a the, the quick poke to the eyes, and now Blackwell's back in charge, going for that big splash. Nobody home, Thatcher saw it coming, rolled out of the way. Timothy Thatcher really needs to get in control right now. He's able to get the separation he wants. Thatcher crawling, gets a cover, gets all the momentum on it. Two, three, and Timothy Thatcher gets the victory for Team APW. Blackwell has been eliminated, therefore, the winners of this contest in 35 minutes and 22 seconds, Mikey J, Matt Carlos, Dylan Drake, and Timothy Dutcher. Well, Team APW gets the victory, but at what cost? Jack comes back out here with Blackwell to lay some punishment. On to this is exactly what we were saying before the, before the match. Even if the Carnival of Shadows didn't walk away with the victory, which they didn't do in this time, it doesn't matter because they're the, setting up for Joseph. Oh, but here comes the Universal Champ with the steel chair. And he Blackwell tripped up on the rope trying to get away from the chair. We are the Universal Heavyweight Champion. Dylan Drake took a swing at Blackwell, but Blackwell able to escape the ring just in the nick of time before that chair could connect. Look at the face of Jekyll. Jekyll's is pounding, laughing. He wants the chair. Jekyll's is creepy, sick, demented, twisted. I cannot find enough adjectives to describe Jekyll's and that look on his face right now. He, Jekyll's has gone on record time and time again saying that he loves that strong style of professional wrestler. He wants to get into that ring and just, uh, just beat up the opponent as much as he possibly can to try to get that victory, to try to shorten careers, to try to beat down your spirit. You saw Jekyll point at the chair and point at Dylan Drake, and then you just heard the sick, twisted laugh from Jekyll. This man is creepy beyond creepy, and I he gives everyone nightmares. I I cannot wait for the day when Dylan Drake and Jekyll Jekyll's finally lock up in the same room and couldn't be able to do it in time. Should be a instant classic that one. See there, 
uh, Jekyll's Blackwell and Darkness of the Carnival of Shadows still just reveling in, in the after the match beat down. They may have lost this particular match, but it doesn't look like it's broken them down in any way. They lost the battle, but it seems like they continue to win this war between the Carnival and Team AEW. Folks, that's all the time we have for this week. For Matthew Fiala and everyone at All Pro Wrestling, I'm John Roberts. We'll see you next week on Jim Wars.